Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about a comedy classic that is celebrating its 15th anniversary called Dodgeball. Yep, that's right. Let's get into it. So let's get into it. So let's get it. Zed's dead, baby! Zed's, Zed's dead. dead! I don't know what that means. Except he actually is. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost um, Rip Torn, the actor who... In my book, makes dodgeball. He was Patches O'Houlihan in this. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? But he was also Zed, like we said, from uh, Men in Black. He was Zeus in uh, Disney's Hercules, my second favorite Disney movie. Zeus die? Yes! That's who he is! <laughs> like Zeus from Hercules? Zeus, the actual god, died. <laughs> you mean like my boy? My little Hercules. He died? Yes. Yes. Oh. I know. So, in honor of the great Riptorn, he's done a lot more than that. He's been acting since, like, the 60s. We'll get you some tissues. Uh, we are also revisiting Dodgeball for its 15th year anniversary, like Driana said. So, um, through her tears, she's going to be experiencing this for the first time. Uh, Jesse, I think you saw it I've back when it came out. I have seen it once, and I never went back to it because I figured, like, oh, I probably won't find it as funny as I did back then, but... Yeah. I still love Zoolander, and I still love Hot Rod, so who knows? Well, I feel like this will be right at home for you then. Yeah. I hope this is as funny as I remember it. It's one of my favorite comedies of all time, so we'll see how it holds up 15 years later. Uh, we're going to watch it. You don't have to sit through the whole movie with us, but we will check back in once we are done. Well, that was a ride. <laughs> yep. Yeah, most definitely. I am going to let you guys take the reins here. Okay. What so, did, uh, we'll start with Driana okay. because oh, okay. she's the one that went into it completely blind. So okay. I'm, curious, I'm most curious to hear your thoughts. Well, I don't know why you want my thoughts because I'm a weird <laughs> individual who doesn't usually find comedy movies funny. Or if I do find them funny, I just won't laugh. Yeah. So I'll it's say, hard to make you laugh. <laughs> It's not. It's just that movies sometimes, like, I'll just be sitting there just, just straight face. <laughs> and, like, it could be funny. I might find it enjoyable, mm. but I won't laugh. I know. I'll be like, I'll wait for your reaction and I'll look and you'll just be like. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be like, why? That, that part was so funny. And you'll be like, yeah, I know. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why didn't you laugh? <laughs> I, just, I just don't unless it's, like, a really, like, shocking or, like, out there kind of mm. joke. So um, there was a few moments that I did laugh at. Um, so... F you, Chuck Norris. The fact that Chuck Norris was in it at all. I was like, oh, we need some judges. All right. And then it was just Chuck Norris. And I like how it was like, Mr. whatever, Miss Mr. Lewis, and then just Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. Not Mr. Norris, just Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. Because you do not speak his name unless you do the full name. I Yeah, so like the shock value of that, a lot of the jokes I feel just didn't make sense. Yeah, it was... Just the right amount of absurdity. There was a common theme that we had where we were just like, what did that line mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah what does that even mean? <laughs> yeah. A bunch of retards trying to hump a doorknob. <laughs> yeah, like, like, what does what? that mean? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah um, I, I did have a lot of chuckle moments. Um, so, I did enjoy it. Yeah? Yes. I, I laughed, so it was successful. And you were you were kind of like cheering when they would like win the matches and stuff. I could tell you were getting into the hype. Uh, sort of. I feel like a little bit of it's, it's like a tad bit of hype, um, but mostly obligation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. No, hear me out. When you go to a sports event where... Okay. When you go to a sports <laughs> event where a team wins and, you know, they did a good job or whatever, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, polite to clap and cheer for them unless, like, you were on the opposing team. Like, no, I wanted my team to win. So, like, I didn't really have an opinion. Of course, I was rooting for the heroes. I was like, ah, it'd be kind of cool if they lost. But the it'd be kind of cool if they won. So, when they did, I was just like, yay. I wasn't like, wow. I was yeah. just like, Pleasant. Everybody loves an underdog story. That's yeah, literally the subtitle of the movie. It's a true underdog story. All right, whipping over to you, Jesse. Passing the baton. Yeah. So Doom. going from someone who's never seen it before, never knew anything about it, mm. to someone who's seen it ages in an age-long past. I saw it once. Um, 
And I, I will say, yeah, it certainly was a comedy of the times. Oh, yeah. Uh, there were so many... Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, exactly. just for the music alone. The All the, you know, time-sensitive jokes and everything like that. Mm-hmm. It was filled with cliches and stereotypes, and it was yeah. like, you know, I get it. That's what was funny at the time. It was like a little bit less PC than we are now. Exactly. Like the whole retards line and like, oh, the fat girl falls on the guy's face. Uh, uh, look how fat she is. She plays dodgeball. She's a lesbian. Yeah. Or uh, Suzuki Honda Civic. <laughs> exactly. The, the team. Yeah. It was a... Like a punch out joke here. But Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, like it was fine. It wasn't super offensive, but it was, you know... It was a comedy movie. It was worth a chuckle. I, I had I had a couple laughs in there, mostly at the uh, Lance Armstrong cameo <laughs> oh, yeah. that just happens in the middle of the movie. A lot of good like, cameos. Yeah, there's a lot was of the good Chuck cameos. Norris, Lance Armstrong, uh, Captain Kirk. Why am I blanking on his name right, right now? <laughs> cameos were the strong point of the movie for me, honestly. Uh, I think without those, it would have been kind of a, you know, it would have been still funny, but not as funny. Yeah, it was great. Just like just Lance Armstrong just walks up to him and it's like, what? Yeah, I had cancer <laughs> oh, and everything. That, and... that was on the team, the German team. Oh, yeah, and David Hasselhoff. Yeah, and David Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. They show the little scene where they're up. like, they worship one, him. One, and like, two, three, Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. <laughs> and then he's actually there when they lose, just beating the crap out of him. That was glorious. Yeah. I don't know, has David Hasselhoff been in anything besides a cameo for the last like 10 years? I don't know why you're asking Probably me. Probably not. I mean, oh, but hypothetical. Wasn't there a, wasn't there a, uh, the hell is that lifeguard Sponge show Bob. called? Oh, Baywatch. Baywatch. Yeah, but that was like what made him famous. That well, was Baywatch like... movie happened recently. Really? And nobody watched it. Oh, I'm it. sure he was in that one. Yeah, the Rock one. Yeah. Mm. The man of the hour himself, Rip Torn. Rip, rip Torn. Rip. Absolute. Rip Torn. Yes. Literally R. dies in the torn. movie, and we're like, oh no, he died. <laughs> Oh, he died no. so suddenly, too. Tomorrow, we're gonna pecker slap those Globo Jim bastards! Yeah! You really think we can beat Globo Jim Peace? As long as we got patches, we got a shot. That scene's not gonna be as funny anymore. No, no but, no, but, you know, it I was, mean, people die. It's bound to happen. Yeah. Yeah. People die. <laughs> Obviously, he was star of the show, uh... Even though he's only in it for, like, a third of the movie. Yeah, exactly. He steals the show every scene that (laughs) he's in. Every line of his is just gold. And I I didn't realize, it's kind of like with Hot Rod, I quote this movie so much. Like the, uh, okay, crazy guy. (laughs) I'm not crazy and I'm not a guy. (laughs) What does that even mean? He didn't even explain it after that. I know, and that's what I love about it. It wasn't just like a... See, I took it literally. I was like, is he not? I know. You're like, is that a woman? Is it a woman? (laughs) She did the Lorax. That's a woman. (laughs) That's a woman. (laughs) You can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. Yeah, that's the classic. That's the trailer. It was used in every trailer. You can dodge some cars. You can dodge a ball. Yeah. Just risk your life to dodge these balls. (laughs) (laughs) Something Jesse pointed out that there's a lot, actually, that I've seen this movie countless times, but there's a lot of things I noticed for the first time, maybe because when I saw it, I was like, 16 or whatever but uh or holy crap 15 years ago i was 15 Mm -hmm. yeah don't reveal your age (laughs) but when uh, you pointed out when uh patches is chucking the wrenches that hits steve the pirate in the eye which alan tudyk is like my hero by the way but he hits steve the pirate in the eye (laughs) and the next scene he has an eye patch (laughs) appropriate yeah i love it a lot of funny little continuity things like that yeah Mm. i feel like a lot of the jokes is really relevant to our times. Um, if you've noticed, like, memes in the recent years have gone from, like, kind of, like, a more literal sense to kind of, like, shock value and just, like, nonsensical. Yeah. Like, what the heck? Like a... Just, sometimes, like, there'll be a meme and it absolutely won't make sense. And then, like, that that's what makes you laugh. Because yeah. you're like, what? So, like, yeah. I had a lot of moments like that in this movie, like, with the jokes, like, with the, the retards and the knob. Or... <laughs> No offense. The retards in the knob. <laughs> Tuesdays on NBC. <laughs> or or other jokes like that. Or uh, I'm not a, well, I'm not a what? I'm not crazy and I'm not a guy. I'm not crazy and I'm not a guy. What? I've got some hookers in the background. Just... But like I was saying, it's not over. It's not too much. Like there's a lot of 
comedies that came out around that time that was just like, look how crazy and random and wacky we are. And it's like, ha ha ha, like Invader Zim level, like waffle. See, I think the reason that is, is because the main characters were kind of, I don't say dull, but like dulled down. Hmm. Usually in movies like that, they'll have a nonsensical theme, nonsensical jokes, and like a wacky, like, whoa, hmm. character to balance it out. Like um, Adam Sandler. Yeah. Adam Sessler. Yeah, no. Adam Sandler. You got it right the first Adam time Sand- for once. Adam Sandler. You always say Adam Sessler. Welcome to X Factor. <laughs> Welcome to G4 TV. Yeah, right. Like Adam Sessler, so like, whoa, crazy jokes. But this one was more like, just like a a guy that was portrayed as, uh, not crazy, but lazy and like didn't have any ambition, but all this random stuff is happening around him, all these random jokes, and he's just like, huh. Yeah. Like, that's kind of what I feel like balanced it out. That's why it was like an acceptable amount of like, funny and yeah, random yeah, yeah i also like i love the um the announcers cotton cotton yeah. mcknight and i don't even remember the other guy's name but i remember cotton because the other guys everything he says is just yeah cotton <laughs> like when he puts the, puts the blindfold on he's like it seems like peter lafleur has blindfolded himself yeah you will not be able to see very well with that on cotton. <laughs> i almost feel like the other guy was just completely non-scripted I, <laughs> like he just said whatever came to his mind mm-hmm. and i feel like that was funnier that way yeah. i love the one the one cut it goes to them and cotton's talking and the other guy's just like with the sunglasses on just like <laughs> it's just like on the tip of his nose <laughs> yeah the announcer cotton it. just like would look at him and just like kind of shake it off and then <laughs> continue with a very scripted line so I know. like i feel like the other guy had to have been off script yeah i i think it held up no one's gonna be like watching it today being like yes this revolutionized the movie industry or even like you know sports movies or comedies but like it just had enough charm in all of those things that like you can still go back and Mm. totally enjoy it i i I was worried that i would be like all right this is stupid this isn't as funny as i remembered it but i was cracking up the whole time even more actually because now i get a lot of the jokes that i didn't when i was 15 for me it's different i there's probably a reason I haven't watched this movie in years, and it has been. It, it is totally a comedy of the time, and it's yeah. like the jokes are a little outdated. Do we want to score it out of ten? Sure. I would say out of five. Out of five? Ah, that's right. No, yeah. Andrew likes ten. You like the five. I, like... I do like the five, but if you want to do a ten, I can do that. I, I think if it were up to me, I would do like out of a hundred. <laughs> I like having more numbers because it's like... I love strong, small numbers. <sighs> that is my favorite. Ooh, I like that argument. I feel like there's just two... Because like, you could have a really high three and you could have a really low three, but then it's like, yeah, they're both threes. And to me, that's like, ah! Yeah, I agree. Like, to me, like, that five is like the perfect halfway point. Like, I neither hated it or loved it. Like, it's meh. But anything above a five, you're pushing towards like the liking Well, range. for me, it... We can have a whole movie. No, this is a this. whole video on this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, because well, you score it out of five. I'll score it out of ten, and you no, score no, no, it out that's... of sixteen. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's so confusing. No, no, no. I am gonna give it like a five out of ten, and like <sighs> I, I wouldn't go back to it. I'm like, it's fine. I got a couple chuckles. Yeah. Drana. All right. Um, out of ten, I will raise you one higher. I'll give it a six out of ten. Because again, it was not bawling or like on the floor laughing bawling <laughs> like the whole time but like i did laugh so it's definitely worth a little bit more than a five but yeah. not not much so you didn't have a ball with this one? Oh my god give your score <laughs> uh i give it nine balls out of ten um really i, I probably would say like see i i did and i do go back to this movie i have i might have not gone back to it in in years but when it came out in the years after it it's kind of like anchorman and hot rod like i felt like i could always go back and watch those movies but uh i feel like nine eight point seven five on my on my now watching it um whereas <laughs> if you had asked me when i was 15 it would have been like 9.75 like this movie was basically perfect there's nothing wrong with it it's so funny <laughs> What? <laughs> That's way too hot. Do you know I many, love this. Do you know how I many this excellent? Do you know movies? how many excellent movies you've given eight point five because you refuse to give a perfect score and you're pushing nine for this one? I'm a little insulted. I'm a little insulted. You I like. humbly respect your incorrect opinion, but I respect it nonetheless. Okay. 
But then again, I don't like comedy movies. Maybe he does. So <sighs> humble. Be humble. I do. You also, uh, well, you like Ace Ventura, but you just. That's just because it's you. <laughs> I'm projecting him onto you. Uh, that's another <laughs> movie that I quote incessantly. And she's just like, I, I'm so mad because I'm just watching you on the screen. <laughs> Which is the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. So, But we're not talking about that. Well, we're movie. not talking about that. We're talking about Rip Torn's. Not last movie, but... Uh, rip Torn. Rip Rip. Rip Rip, as we know him. I'm real torn about his passing. Ow! <laughs> I deserve that, though. Do you it again. Did. Oh. I like that one. Well, thank you, too, for uh, being here and experiencing that with me. Mm-hmm. Thank all of you out there in the uh, internet verse for experiencing that with us. Um... I'm Andrew. I'm Driana. I'm Jesse. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, please. And remember to leave a comment below if you remember uh, any experiences you've had with this movie in the past. Or anything you want to see us cover in the future. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Open the conversation. Yeah, let's open up that conversation door. All right. (laughs) See you guys. Thanks. Bye. Out of ten, I'd ratchet a. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'd ratchet a clank. <laughs> God damn it.